Hey, hey, it's your host Sauce from the Viral Kingdom and the most awaited question ever on my channel over the past week has been how do I mass upload these NFTs to OpenSea and we have the video for you. It's going to be incredibly easy to do, absolutely no programming knowledge needed, no smart contracts, none of that complicated stuff. But before we get into any of that, I do have to ask, can you guys please leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can hit 100,000 subscribers. That is all I ask. It took me so long to find this information. So many different forums, so many different researching techniques i had to go through just to find this information on how to do it but here we are i finally understand how you can mass upload or basically have a bot running uploading all your nfts to open c so it doesn't take you 20 million years because if you individually uploaded each new item that would take you so long even to upload like a thousand let alone like a ten thousand nft collection that would take ages now if this is your first video of watching my channel and you don't understand how to actually generate these nft collections you can check out my earlier video where i go in depth on how to do it and it doesn't require any programming knowledge but i'm assuming if you're this far into the video you've already seen that video and you want to know how to get it to open c and that's what i'm going to be showing you guys how to do today so there's only going to be one program that you need downloaded and that is going to be this macro program i'll have the link to that in the description it might be in an adfly link so you just have to skip the ad i'm sure you know what adfly is but yeah once you have this program downloaded, it should look like this, except all of these key presses won't be there, and I'm going to explain that. So I'm just going to clear that so we have a fresh slate. Alrighty, so the next thing you want to do is go to OpenSea and then go to the Create page. Once you're on the Create page, you can just minimize that. And then what you want to do is open up an Excel spreadsheet like the one I have on screen. Obviously, you're going to see this very interesting name right here, and this is actually the project that I've been working on. So if you wanted to even go above and beyond in supporting me grabbing one of these on OpenSea, that'd be huge. But obviously you don't have to do that. Just liking and subscribing is more than enough. Okay, so once you have your Excel sheet opened, you just wanna go to the top left and then you wanna select the first box and hit file name. And then the second box, you can type in NFT name. Then in the box right here, you just want to type in one. And then you just want to put the name of your NFT and then hashtag the number. So in this case, it would be one. Then you want to do this exact same thing for the box below. So two and then number two. Okay, so at the end of it, it should look like this. As you can see from the example, disregard this left side. So then what you want to do is hit the top left box hold shift and it should select all of them and then click in the bottom right here you'll get this black arrow and then scroll down and then if everything's working properly when you let go it should have the numbers in a descending order so you can just do that to however many you want to generate so let's say you want to generate only 40 nfts well that's about as far as you go if you wanted to generate more you just drag it down farther okay so once that's done you just want to minimize it in the top of your screen and then you want to open up another Excel sheet and on this one you want to add in the description of your nft so what you were planning on placing in the nft spot obviously this is the description of mine like i said i have a really goofy concept and then you want to paste in your website link i don't have a website for this personal project but i do have a twitter page so i just selected the twitter link and pasted it there then the next thing you want to do is add in all the different characteristic layers that you have so for my example the different layers i have are like the background body chains eyes hats head mouth and then lastly you just want to add a coming soon text at the bottom so at the end it should look something like this all right once you have all of that finished you just want to set up your desktop to look exactly like mine does so what you want to do is go to the mini mouse macro program and select this record button right here then you want to follow everything as i do exactly to a t so select that then go over to your number. For your case, it will be number one. Then you want to select Control C and then go over to the Open C website and select the drag and drop file option. Then Control V to paste it in and then hit enter. Then go back over to your Excel sheet and Control C to copy and then paste it over on the Open C website. And I think you guys are starting to understand what I'm doing. So then back over to the Excel sheet to copy the link, Control C, Control 
control V, paste it into the website, then tab to go back down the website, and then description control C and then control V to paste that in. Then for the collection, you just want to select your collection. And then for the properties, you just want to add however many properties you have. For in my case, there is seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And like before, control C, control V and paste those properties onto OpenSea. Then you can just add the coming soon in all of the name, then tab, tab, hit enter to save. And then this is a very important step. You wanna go back to the first Excel sheet, click on the B column and then hit the down arrow key so that it resets to one, two, five. Then go back to the OpenSea website and hit tab, 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 tab till you get to the bottom. From there, I'd highly suggest selecting Polygon so there's no gas fees at all and then selecting Create. And once you hit Create, you just want to hit the Escape key and then select your collection name at the top and then select Add Item and then you are all finished. You should be back to where you started and then you just want to select the Stop button on the Mini Mouse Macro program and then you want to delete this last macro that happened which was the left click down. So you just want to delete that and bam you should be done if you followed everything correctly once you run this macro program it will just automatically do that so we're going to do that right now and just to make sure that everything was set up correctly so i'm currently not touching my mouse at all not touching my keyboard and this is the computer completely doing this now you may notice that it is taking quite a while for the computer to do these movements and that's because it took me quite a while because i was trying to thoroughly explain everything however i'll I'll show you a way that you can make everything even faster so that it does not take this long to go through every single nft so we'll just let this play out i'll probably throw up some music just to show you guys that this is a legit working method and then i'll show you how you can make this process even faster and when i mean even faster i mean like literally 0.01 millisecond like in time we're incapable of understanding Alrighty, so everything worked properly there and a way you can stop the macro is just hitting this button right here the square of a circle around it all right but let's say we want to make things a lot quicker we don't want it to be as slow as it is we want to speed up the program so that we can process even more nfts and the way you can do that is by doing exactly what I'm doing on screen is by double tapping each of the individual macros and changing the time to one. So instead of taking 531 milliseconds to perform this control V macro, it only takes one. So you can just switch that around for literally every single macro that you have. Although there is a few that I wouldn't change and I'll show that down below. So the one that I would not change and I'd actually change it to something higher, like something like 8,000 milliseconds is the, is the key press escape option at the bottom. As well, I would do it for the left click down and I'd change that to around like 5,000 just to make sure because you never know how long it's gonna take to reload the web page. If you have a fast internet, it probably won't take you that long. However, you have really slow internet, this could take you a while. And if it takes you a while, this will screw up the entire macro. And let's say you wanna turn the macro on while you're going to bed if it screws up once it won't produce any more nfts and it'll just be screwed up the entire night so that's why i highly suggest doing a test run before you take a long break like going to bed just so you know that the macro is not going to break so yeah i'm just gonna go through all these different key presses and change them all to one so it's super speedy Okay, so I just made a lot of my changes to the macro speed and we're just gonna do a little test run. I think there might be a few more. I might have to change around the speed so it's a little faster, but I think that should be it. There might be something I have to change around, but let's test it out right now. You can actually save the macro by hitting the house icon at the top and then hitting save macro. All right, so let's run this. Okay, so as you can see, <laughs> things are twitching out right now. So something was way too fast.
and bam guys as you can see i am not touching this there's no human way possible that i could go this fast this is all from the macro bot and hopefully i'll be able to get this entire collection up by tomorrow by the looks of it it's about like a 30 second process per nft which is pretty insane honestly less than that which is absolutely wild i will know if you do have any notifications on your pc turn them off they will screw up this program i just had a discord notification that completely screwed everything up so that's why i highly suggest having no notifications on at all because it will mess up with your macro now if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comment section and i'll try and get back to you guys but that's going to conclude this video right here i hope you guys did enjoy it and make sure hit that like button and subscribe that is literally all i ask as we're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers Alrighty, see you guys later Thank you.